Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing some problems with your Xbox controller and for some reason your Xbox controller just isn't charging. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons but you will have to, you know, there's like two main ways basically. It's either the charging port or the wire. Now if you don't know, most Xbox controllers do not come with a charging pack already enabled so you're going to have to either plug in the little charging adapter or you could have to put in the AA batteries, either or. There's no like built-in battery here, unless you get the specific one that has the built-in battery inside of it. As you can see, I have the AA batteries here for both my Xbox One controller and this controller. But as stated before, you can actually buy the battery packs that enable the USB Type-C charging here, but you should be able to plug in a USB Type-C charger and have it plugged in and still play with your controller. Now, the first way to fix this, if that's not the issue, if you already don't know the battery thing, what you want to do is you want to locate the top and you want to look at the USB Type-C port on the top of your Xbox controller. Now, as you can see, we have the USB Type-C port right here. And typically what happens, whether you have the Xbox One controller or you have this controller, or even a 360 controller, whatever controller, sometimes there's a lot of dust and debris that gets stuck in this specific port. So what you need to do, I've seen this before, people like take a vacuum suction cup and like suck it up. But the best thing to do is take like some sort of like non-metal object, something like a toothpick or a small little like plastic tip or something like that, and kind of gently scrape the inside of your USB type C port. This may actually end up fixing the problem. I've seen this time and time again. It's fixed it for a lot of my iPhones and a lot of my Androids. And the same thing happens with these controllers too. Over time, a lot of things just get stuck in here. And if you keep plugging in the USB Type-C port, and even the micro USB, it like, keeps getting it more and more jammed in there. So the best thing to do is grab a toothpick, grab something, and kind of scrape the inside of your specific controller. Now, if you try that out and it doesn't work or it's not working or whatever the case is, at that point, I would recommend you to actually go ahead and check your wire that you're using. You'd be surprised how often the wire is actually probably the problem. You know, if you have a USB Type-C cord or if you have a micro USB cord, I would highly recommend you to actually go ahead either replace that wire and see if that actually ends up fixing the problem. Typically at this point, I'm being honest, your controller is probably going to you know, be fixed in and of itself. But if it's still not charging, I would recommend you replace these batteries in the back. If you have a you know charging battery capability, you wanna take this out, plug it back in and see if that fixes it. If that still doesn't fix it, I would recommend rewatching this video starting back from the beginning and pretty much following the steps again. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much for you guys to hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything also, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.